what you will learn in the Symbiotic Design Framework. Through the Symbiotic Design Framework, you will learn to understand design as a discipline that not only focuses on solving problems, but also as a process of self-organization and self-creation. From an autopoietic perspective, design can be seen as a co-creation process between the designer and other relevant players. Design is no longer imposed by the designer, but it emerges through interactions and feedback among the various actors involved in the design process. By reconfiguring the design process based on relationships, this could emphasize the self-organized and co-creative nature of design, highlighting the importance of feedback and interactions in the design process. Having a broader and shared perspective avoids dark areas lacking information. These areas are the responsible for unfriendly environmental designs. If you are not aware of the influences and relationships involved in your projects, you will hardly be able to make informed, well-founded and environmentally friendly decisions. When you know the components of your project, you can take ownership of them and use them positively. To achieve this, we will explore basic concepts surrounding this framework, such as the ideas that gave rise to its formation. We will see how the symbiotic design framework is based on seminal principles of biology such as autopoiesis and symbiosis, as well as general systems theory and all the knowledge generated from design over the centuries. It is in the union and juxtaposition of all of them where a new paradigm is created, symbiotic design. During my doctoral research, which ran for five years, design was observed from the theory of autopoiesis. Autopoiesis is a theory that says that living systems have the capacity for self-maintaining and self-regulating themselves through their internal processes and interactions with the environment. During this research, seven constituent components were evidenced and they were presented in Cumulus Rome 2021 as the basis of an autopoietic design model. Over a year ago, with my family, we moved to Valencia and I had the chance to experience the World Design Capital 2022. This allowed me to conduct field research and as a result of that, an eighth component was incorporated. Interactive relationships related to design were strengthened and the initial autopoietic model became a symbiotic design framework. It moved from an observational model to an implementation framework. These eight components are necessary to ensure that we are facing all the relationships that will arise in the detection, creation, development, use and subsequent disposal of a product arising from design. If we leave any of them aside, those dark areas we mentioned earlier stay unattended, generating frictions with the environment and subsequently destroying it. The eight components we will see are Human component, which is the purpose, core and reference of what we do as designers the temporal component and how time goes beyond the idea of a life cycle, the emerging component or the cause that ignites the design process. The observational component gives us specific ways of understanding our environment. The operational component or how we do things has taken us centuries to perfection it, giving us a distinct mixture of abilities. The associative component is our superpower. We are better suited for teamwork than any other discipline. The tangible component are all of the available building blocks we need to grab to overcome this task. And finally, the outcome component are all the design results that will always come back to haunt us. It's everything design has created. We also learned that not everything humanity has created has been designed. Finally, we will see the implementation of what we have learned with the help of a work group designed specifically to guide you on the journey of alignment in the symbiotic design process. Once you master this new paradigm and incorporate those components, their relationships and their infinite ramifications, the workbook will no longer be necessary if you choose to. You will have gone through the transformative experience involving the symbiotic design framework, and this new holistic logic of understanding design will be imbued into you. When using the symbiotic design framework, you will also be able to reach all of your design methodologies and use them. The framework is built upon design's collective knowledge, so it actually reflects design's way of thinking. Through the usage of symbiotic design framework, you will have the ability of recognizing when and for what is each methodology model appropriate for. This will also work for new specific models to come, since it's a framework, not a model. It is a holistic view of the discipline that can be adapted for each specific scenario. And that's why it's so useful when confronting wicked problems. 
you will be trained into the power of questioning. The symbiotic design framework will teach you how to do relevant questions so you can make informed decisions during the design process. Think of the symbiotic design framework as a reset of your designer's brain. Once this happens, there's no turning back. Your design process will be fully illuminated and there will be no dark areas that destroy the environment. As a bonus track, the symbiotic design framework is in line with helping you and your organization tackle the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and we will show you how. After this course, you will become the change.